What must I do to be delivered? What must I do so that I can excel? How do I break this siege? I give you five ways and we'll rise to pray. What must I do to break the siege? Number one, are you ready? Commit to serving God as a lifestyle. Commit to serving God as a lifestyle. Look, the Levites were the first children. God separated them among the 12 tribes of Israel and said, the Levites, you are to serve in the vineyard. You must not get out of that place. And told the others, you can bring all 10% of your income and bring it to the house of the Levites so that they won't work, so that they can just stay there and mind my business. So that means service is connected to deliverance. You shall serve the Lord your God, Exodus 23, 24, 25, and 26. He shall bless your bread and water. Take away sickness from your midst. He said, no, shall cast a young, your number of days shall be fulfilled. Serving God is a choice. It's not a gift. You make the choice to serve. You will truly serve. Amen. Number two, how do I get free and delivered? Pray hard. Pray hard. Pray hard. A prayer of faith will provoke divine intervention. We call that a prayer of faith. You pray believing for your next level. A cry of faith. It will provoke deliverance and restoration. And number three, how do I break the yoke? Number three, enforce the speaking blood. That's why we have the blood here today. The blood has a voice, heavenly voice. And that voice speak. Hello? Enforce the blood. The blood has a voice. It speaks for you where your voice cannot get to. It is sacrificial substitute to deliver you from satanic bondage. He speaks better things. What are the better things? He speaks favor. He speaks breakthrough. He speaks lifting. He speaks turn around. He speaks deliverance and liberty. And the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Today you shall overcome. That amen can be better. Amen. I said today we shall overcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And of course, number four, how do I get free? You get free by sacrificial seed. By sacrificial seed. Listen to me. Most people's prayer are not answered because there is no sacrifice on the altar. Why is sacrificial seed important? Listen. Many people does not have something to speak for them because there's nothing found on the altar. Every time most believers cry, Lord, answer my prayer by fire. By fire, fire only respond when there's an altar, there's sacrifice on the altar. We saw Elijah call fire from heaven, but what did he do for the fire to come down? He built the altar. First Kings chapter 18, verse 38. 